Hello Visaya, Herman here. Two days ago, the new iPhone 10 was released. I'm not really going to talk about the features of this phone, or if I want to be able to send a poop shaped an emoji. What's really important about this release is that marks 10 years since the release of the first iPhone, a device that disrupted businesses and has created new ways on how we interact and communicate. Actually, we use our phones as a phone only for 1% of the time. I really struggle to remember how our lives were or how we used to work before we had, you know, these mobile devices or smartphones. When we started doing this video series, I was asking different engineers what was the essential tool they had as field technicians and how they got support from experts from around the world. I remember, for example, Professor Carlos Cotrino. He told me he had to use the fax machine to communicate with the headquarters. And of course, it has to be done from the offices from Bogota, Colombia. So he had to go back to the office, send the fax, wait for a couple of hours, then go back to the field, iterate, check, go back, send another fax. It was a really complex work. By the end of the 1990s and beginning of the 21st century, we had cell phones that allowed technicians to perform calls, send text messages, and check to a certain point the internet from the field. But that's nothing compared with the possibilities we have today using smartphones like the new iPhone or Android devices like Samsung S8 or the Essential Phone. We actually not only have access to information that we can check, configure, and set up field devices, we can also watch one of the latest episodes of Visaya Weekly read one of the latest articles and interact with the members of the Visaya community. During the last release, Tim Cook stated, It is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. You may or may not agree with this statement, but it really made me think about the future of smartphones and how industries like press automation will keep being disrupted by the evolution of mobile computing. For example, AR and VR smart headsets will be able to deliver organized information about the plant assets, showing real-time condition of these devices, and also three-dimensional models of the digital twins of each component. This will be done in an organized manner, helping technicians and engineers with the decision-making process. So what do you think will be the future of smartphones or handheld devices? How are we going to interact with these devices, let's say, in 10 years? Do you think the next meter will have Face ID technology? Well, for that, we will have to wait and see. Thank you for watching. Till next time.